Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? Um, welcome to my first ever recorded uh, quiz. Um, so, yeah, this isn't live. Um, I am recording this um, not on Saturday night, but on a very, very muggy Friday evening. Hence why I can't stomach the jacket. It's too much. But tell you what, it's never too much for... Never too much, never too much for a drop of the old red. Cheers. Happy Saturday, everyone. How are we all doing? Hope uh, hope you're not missing me too much. Um, no, I, I'm back with a, a live uh, Big Nights In quiz um, next Saturday, which is the 4th of July. Um, those of you that have got your bundles already, fantastic. Um, if you haven't got a ticket yet, head over to the website, danspubquiz.co.uk. Uh, you can click on the online shop uh, and you can pick yourself up the ticket for uh, the Big Night In on the 4th. Uh, it's just one ninety nine. Or if you do want to join for the next four quizzes um we do have a bundle there so you can save yourself a few quid um in case you're wondering why it's a bundle of four when we did a bundle of five last time it is purely so that we can uh, keep track of where the bundles are at and you know so uh, yeah i'm recording this uh recording this quiz from uh my dining room <laughs> hence the backdrop's different mix it up a little bit um so what i'm gonna do this is just a little mini uh mini uh, teaser quiz just to um Make sure you know you're not you're not missing me too much, and um, those of you that maybe haven't joined before that are thinking about joining on the fourth gives you a little bit of a flavour of uh, what a dance pub quiz is all about. So, without further ado, what we're going to do, um, we're going to have four sections, um, five questions each. So it's not going to take uh, too long. This quiz. When we get to the end, I'll recap all the answers. Um, when we do our live quizzes, you obviously submit your answer sheets. We mark them. We put them in the leaderboard. Uh, this time round, it's just mark at home for fun. Um, but do put a comment in um, and let us know how you got on. Okay? Amazing. So we are first off going to start with uh, one of our, uh, our picture rounds here. So um, what is going to happen is I'm going to show you on screen um, five pictures. You're going to get 20 seconds of each. Um, and these pictures are going to be um, famous board games. Okay, so these are board games. So I just want the name of the board game. 20 seconds on each. Are we ready? We'll go, we'll go through everything twice. That's the way we do it. Everything twice. Here we go. Number one. So board game number one on screen. The little box up here over there uh, is a famous board game. What is that board game? What is that board game? 20 seconds. Number two. You know, on the fence as to whether this is a board game or not, but it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely a game that you play sat around a table. What is the name of game number two? Game two. It's number three on screen. Told you, 20 seconds each. Don't worry, we'll go top to bottom. One more time. Number three on screen. Number three. It's number four. You know this with the little pieces in your circle and you have to go all the way around and then get the right amount to end up on the tiles in the uh, in the center what is the name of that board game and then finally for this mini round number 5 what is the name of board game number 5 right there we go. So don't worry, we're going to recap as we always do. You'll get these five board games again. All you need to do is figure out what that board game is. Are we ready? Here we go. It's number one on screen. Board game number one. The lighting isn't as good in the in the dining room, clearly. I'm, I'm a little bit shadowy, but you know. It's fine. Getting you guys your fix. What more do we need, eh? It's number two. Board game two. Number 
Philip looks like a uh, an extreme character, doesn't he? It's board game two on screen. Now it's number three. Number three on screen. What is that board game? Number four. It's up there. What is it? What's it called? And then last but not least, it's number five. What is game number five? Board game number five. Amazing. There you go. So you've got the gist. We're going to rattle through these five questions. Um, you know, that means if it's, you know, if it's half the length, you're going to have to drink twice as much, to, <laughs> twice as quickly, sorry, to make sure that we even out our usual Saturday night intakes. Um, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my Saturday night, but uh, it's going to be strange to be having this one off. Um, but we're going to carry on. So next up is a round that a lot of people have asked me to do, actually. Um, but I never do it during the live quizzes because um, those of you that play every week know that I do a catch raise. Um, so next up, we're going to do, uh, it's traditionally called like dingbats. Essentially, it is catchphrase, but um, it's done with uh, little graphic icons rather than cartoons or videos as I've been doing for catchphrase live. So you're going to see five uh, pictures on screen. Um, they are uh, words, graphics, whatever, um, and they denote a, a saying or a phrase. So all you've got to do, look at the graphic and figure out what that word or saying is. Um, these you are going to get 25 seconds each on. And are we ready for number one? Here we go. Off it goes. There you go. It's number one on screen. 25 seconds. Whole thing top to bottom. Twice. Don't worry. What is the phrase behind dingbat number one? This kind of heat, you can only drink a little bit of Spanish red. You know, ooh. Lovely that. Lovely. Number one. And it's Dingbat number two on screen. It's number two. Tricky these. They are quite tricky. It's number three. Yeah, I say, if we didn't do catchphrase, I'd definitely be doing some of these every week. But uh, no, so it's good, it's good to mix it up, actually. Do a few of these. I, I like these rounds. These are good to put together. It's number three on screen. Remember, these are spelling out a common phrase. It is... Number four, uh, common phrase, saying, item, you know, anything. Um, think about what is on screen. What is there? Don't worry, you're going to get two goes round all of this. 25 seconds on each. It's number four up there. And we are on to our final dingbat now. Number five. What's that at the top of the picture? What is it? <clears throat> is it? Who knows? Well, don't worry. We're going to go top to bottom again. One to five dingbats. Remember, these are graphic pictures, um, graphic images. Um, not graphic in the, you know, in the lewd sense. Graphic is in... They use graphics, not photos. Um, these pictures uh, and icons spell out words, phrases, items, you name it. Um, you just need to figure out 
what they are trying to describe. Are we ready? Top to bottom again, it's Dingbats, round two. Question one. Number one on screen. Again, 25 seconds on these. What is Dingbat number one? And number two, number two now. Make sure you're making your notes, getting these right. We're going to recap them all at the end. Don't worry. It's number three, number three. Number three is up there. Number four. Number four is on screen. And then last but not least, coming up soon, it's number five. Number five. Finally, Dingbat number five. Give you your 25 seconds. There we go. There you have it. Um, right, so um, that was your um, that was your dingbats round. Uh, one last picture round for you now, um, and this one is going to be famous Dan's. So you're going to see five pictures. Um, we've pixelated them out, we've blurred them out um, of famous um, Dan's and any iteration of the name Dan. Um, you're going to see five of them on screen. 20 seconds each. Don't worry. We're going to go top to bottom. Are you ready? It's number one. There we go. Number one on screen. Famous Dan. Number one on screen. It's number two, Famous Dan 2, on screen. Another trick question. I'm not one of the Dans on screen, in case anyone thinks they're putting that down. No, it's the person in the box in the middle. It's number three. Number three. Dan number four. Who is Dan number four? Don't worry, we're going to get all of these again. You get two goes around on everything here. And last but not least, it's number five. Dan five. Give you your <clears throat> 20 seconds. Right, there you go. Cool. 
So we're going to do that again one more time. Top to bottom. Are we ready? Famous Dan's. 20 seconds each one. I just You just need to make a note of the, the, uh, the actor's name. Are you ready? Here's number one. Number one on screen. That's it. Number one on screen. Number one on screen. Number two now. Famous Dan 2. And number three is up there now. Famous Dan, number three. It's number three on screen. Number four. Number four is up there now. And then last but not least, it's Famous Dan number five on screen. Awesome. Right, so there you go. That's the picture rounds done. Um, what we are now going to do is um, I'm going to give you five general knowledge questions. Um, so uh, you're going to see them on screen because this week the graphics are going to work. <laughs> uh, spent a lot of time making sure that I figure out the uh, the slight tech um, hiccups, should I say, that we had um, previously. Um, just to make sure that it's all spick, span, ready um, to smash it out of the park for July the 4th. Um, so, are we ready for um, general knowledge? I'm going to ask you five questions. Um, you just need to, uh, to to make a note of the answer and we'll recap everything when we get to the end. So, are we ready? You've got 20 seconds on each of these. Question number one. An ISBN is a unique identifier that is used to identify which type of product. So that's an ISBN. What would you find an ISBN on? What type of product would have an ISBN as the unique identifier? Question number two. In which English county, which English county is the TV series Downton Abbey set? So uh, which English county is the TV series Downton Abbey set? Number three, what distance is the penalty spot from the goal line in a game of football? So in a game of football, what distance is the penalty spot from the goal line in a game of football? I'll give you an answer in meters, feet, and yards. So any of that. Whatever, whether you work in new or old money, just how far away is the penalty spot? Number four, Nick Rhodes. Nick Rhodes is a founding member of which 1980s band? So Nick Rhodes was a founding member of of which 1980s band. And for question number five, which is our last one, um, from which movie does the following quote derive? Miracles happen in unexpected places, even on death row at Cold Mountain Penitentiary. So what film is the line, miracles happen in unexpected places, even on death row at Cold Mountain Penitentiary? As with all the picture rounds, you're going to get a second go round uh, all of the questions. Um, so we're going to go one to five again on the general knowledge questions before we go back to the start and we'll recap all of the answers for you. So are we ready for question number one on your general knowledge mini section? Are we ready? 
and ISBN is the unique identifier that is used to identify what type of product. ISBN is a unique identifier that is used to identify which type of product. Number two, in which English county is the TV series Downton Abbey set? So what county is Downton Abbey set in? Question number three, what distance is the penalty spot from the goal line in a game of football? I'll take old or new money, meters, feet and yards. Or yards, sorry. Any of those three. I'll give you the answers for. Number four. Nick Rhodes is a founding member of which 1980s band? So Nick Rhodes is a founding member of which 1980s band? And then finally, to round us off, from what movie does the following quote derive? Miracles can happen in unexpected places, even on death row at Cold Mountain Penitentiary. Miracles happen in unexpected places, even on death row at Cold Mountain Penitentiary. There you go. That's the quiz. That's your little mini quiz. That's your little taster. Um, you know, get your little fix uh, this weekend while there's no live quiz um, before we are back next Saturday night, uh, which is July the 4th, Saturday, July the 4th, um, for the next of the big nights in. Um, it's a two hour quiz. Uh, we have six rounds, 10 questions, a few breaks in the middle, a few laughs, celebrity guest. Um, and I generally have far too much red wine. But we do always have good fun. So if you fancy joining on July the 4th, um, head over to the website, danspubquiz.co.uk, um, and grab yourself a ticket. $1.99, you know, it's nothing. Or if you, you know you're going to join for the next four quizzes, um, why not grab the bundle and save yourself a couple of quid? So let's recap the answers there. Um, so we started off first on the, um, on the board games. So let's go over those. Um, one to five uh just let's put these onto a 15 second run are we ready so number one easy dead easy everyone should have got this one monopoly of course it was of course it was monopoly for number one on the board games number two it was guess who Guess who for number two? Some of our uh, friends over there across the pond uh, in the USA, I think you have a slightly different name for this. Um, but no, here we call it Guess Who. Comment in, Put in the comments if you call it something different. Uh, number three is a game of Scrabble. Scrabble. Uh, bonus question. How many tiles, how many letter tiles are there in a game of Scrabble? A hundred. There are a hundred tiles, unless you lose some, but there should be a hundred letter tiles. Uh, number four, this is called Ludo. L-U-D-O. Ludo. With the little pieces. Go around. Get them racked up in the middle. Ludo. And then for number five, uh, he gave it to her with the uh, with the iron rod in the bedroom. Ooh, uh, misses. It is Cluedo. So we had number four, Ludo. Number five, Cluedo. Um, so, yep, there you go. That was the board games round. Um, now we are going to recap the dingbats. Again, these were the kind of picture versions of catchphrase. Um, we will talk these through now. Here we go. Answers for dingbats on screen now. Number one, it was chip and pin. Chip and pin. So did you get the idea now? Did you get what it's all about? Chip and pin. Um hope it makes sense you know bow down at my graphic design powers here chip and pin uh number two balancing act balancing act act balancing act 
was Dingbat number two up there. At number three, Collie Flower Ear. Collie Flower Ear. There you go, number three. Uh, number four, I, I wonder if any of you got this. Gravy Boat. Gravy Boat. So, Gravy Boat. Gravy Boat. Ah, good, that one. I like that. I like that. And then finally, number five, Cotton Wool. Cotton Wool. Cotton Wool. There you go for number five. Cotton Wool. Cotton Wool. Uh, Dingbat number five there. Um, so now we're going to go through the answers to the famous Dan's. Here we go. Uh, number one, it was Daniel Day-Lewis. Did anyone get that one? Daniel Day-Lewis for that one. Um, okay, we pixelated these out. Uh, you know, we've done a few of these detectives, um, TV shows. These always go down quite well. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah, famous Dan's. So that was Daniel Day-Lewis. Number two... This was an easy one. We didn't over-ramp the pixelation here. It's Mr. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig for this one. They famous Dan's, Daniel's, Danny's. Daniel Craig, number two. Number three. It's Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Number three. Number four is quite an easy one, this. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Of Blues Brothers fame, Dan Aykroyd. I mean, and many, many other things, obviously. But there he is in his Blues Brothers gear. Dan Aykroyd. And then finally for number five, it's Daniel Ratcliffe. Daniel Ratcliffe for number five there. So that is Famous Dan's done. Famous Dan's. Now we'll recap the answers to their general knowledge questions. So again, um, you will see the questions on screen. Um, they'll only last for about 15 seconds this time. And I will run through all of the answers for you. So number one. An ISBN is a unique identifier for what type of product? It is a book or an ebook. Either or, books or ebooks. They use the ISBN um, serial numbers to identify them. Question number two In which English county is the TV series Downton Abbey set? It is Yorkshire. Downton Abbey is set in Yorkshire. Question number three. What distance is the penalty spot from the goal line in a game of football? You could have 11 metres, you could have 36 foot, or you could have 12 yards. 11 metres, 36 foot, or 12 yards. That is how far the penalty spot is from the goal line. Um, number four. Um, Nick Rhodes was a founding member of which 1980s band? It was Duran Duran. Nick Rhodes was a founding member of Duran Duran. And then finally for number five, which movie does the following quote derive? Miracles happen in unexpected places, even on death row in Cold Mountain Penitentiary. That is from The Green Mile. That quote is from The Green Mile. So there you go. There was a lovely little uh, little taster dance pub quiz um, just to keep you, you know, keep you tied over until we uh, till we quiz again on July the 4th, so Saturday, 8 o'clock. Um, again, uh, grab yourself a ticket, uh, get yourself a bundle for the next four, um, buy one just for the single, just for the fourth, if you want to see what it's like. Um, we'll send an email out with the link. Um, we're going to put some more information online and help those of you who struggled with some of the casting and getting it up onto your TV. Um, all of that's come in. Um, we've, we've made sure that the tech is slicker, it works better, um, but beyond that, we just want to make sure that everyone has a good time and we have a good laugh and we enjoy a Saturday night out. So I know that the 4th is the first time that the pubs and bars are going to open. 
Um, it's not going to be as we know it. Um, you know, I am desperate to go for a cold draft pint, but uh, yeah, I'm certainly not going to run back just uh, just yet. Yeah, I can see how it all pans out, but um, really, really looking forward to, um, to to quizzing with you all again Saturday, July the 4th, with a big night in, and tickets are available now. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining, and I will see you on the 4th. Goodbye. <laughs>